It's big. The idea. We like the idea. The scope of the idea. But what does it say about us? Them. Us and them. We're looking outwards. But inwards. We want to chart new progress. Your progress. Which is our progress, really. That's the important thing. Um, your name. Ever thought about changing it? <laughs> you say you write about London. That's good. Why do you want to write about London? Is it because we told you to? We did tell you to, didn't we? I did. I think. What do you think links you to London? I mean, what creates a bond between you and London? What do you think about London? What do you think we think about London? <laughs> if you could choose you or London. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we're not judging you. <laughs> this is just a chat. A friendly chat. <laughs> Smile, talk. We're not judging you. <laughs> oh, my pen stopped working, Dom. Could you please get me another? Oh, and a tea. Oh, and a cake. <laughs> I like to eat cake. <laughs> oh, sorry, distracted. <laughs> it happens so easily. Oh, take a seat. Oh, no chair. Well, sit there. What then? Oh, don't worry, just papers. We're shredding them all on Thursday. Super shreddy Thursdays! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> your name. Have you ever thought about changing it? You say you're from London. Mm. Got any proof? Well, don't call them a liar, Don. I'm not saying that. It's so easy to get off on the wrong foot. <laughs> you do have two feet. Mm -hmm. Hands. Arms. Legs. Shame. Mm. Hearing and sight okay? Just tick it off the confidential form <laughs> that we read, but uh, it determines our funding. Not that we pass on the information. <laughs> <laughs> Ethically, what would you say to cutting out one of your eyes, learning to speak Swahili, changing your name to Elijah Wood, and writing a contemporary tale set in an urban area of London? Yeah, see them as the protagonist. <laughs> we liked your idea. It was big! We like to ask better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many syllables in your name? Ever thought about adding some? I always <laughs> thought eight syllables would be a good start. Mm. We liked your idea. Mm. And we think we could help you. To help us. To write something. That fits our remit. You hold the pen. And I'll hold your hand. <laughs> and I'll read you what to write. <laughs> we can put it on next week. If the dwarves have finished devising. Mm. Or the week after. Oh, it, but it doesn't really matter. Mm. That's what the dwarves are working on. Mm. And with your script... They're the same. It's all the same! <laughs> How tall are you? You said you're from London. What kind of a bond do you feel towards the city? I mean, how does London reflect you. How can you reflect London, <coughs> reflecting you, reflecting us within the post-political world of post-9-11, post-religion, post-colonialist, post-interesting and post-storytelling narrative? Do you think you're right for this post? <laughs> <laughs> this post doesn't even exist, so how can you be right for it? That would be madness, that would be insane. Are you insane? <laughs> <laughs> Tick the box. Tick the box. Tick the box. Not that one. <laughs> You're young. Tick the box. 
Do you write about young people? If so, take the box. Because if you're young, obviously you will have an acute understanding of young people and their discourse. The lexicon in it! <laughs> <laughs> and that's the sort of people we're looking for. <laughs> yeah, boom! As long as it doesn't put off Simon Annes. Or that bloke from Little Britain. Mm. Right, I think we're done. Thank you for your time. If we're interested. We'll contact you with a copy of the script we'd like you to write. If not. We'll keep on sending you copies of work that we've previously done. For who knows? Yes, who knows. When we might need to use it again. Yes. <laughs>